Welcome back, I'm the Watch King. On this video, we are going to review a Zodiac Siebel, something that I think is overlooked a lot, especially in the vintage world. So let me know your opinions. Let's jump right into it. Jumping right into it, this is this watch, this beauty. So as you can see, it's a Zodiac Seawolf. This is from the 60s era, right? So pretty advanced, actually, technology, and we'll get into that in a second. But at the same time, it has, this is the most iconic, Bezel, tritium. Uh, this particular one, as you can see, has patina, even that 12, some of the loom is missing. Uh, throughout the dial, you can see it used to be a very deep uh, black, but somehow humidity, maybe this watch was in Florida for a bit, getting some tan, uh, some sun, right? And it's changed the dial, not in a horrible way, right? Zodiac Seawolf is still, uh, as you can see, it's still there in text, right? It's still something you can see, all the indices you can see, you can tell the time instantly when you look down, right? Because if you go too far in the patina and the watch is you know, exposed too much to water, then first of all, it causes a lot of problems on the inside, right? Which is just perfect on the inside, but it causes, you can't really make the time, right? You can't do it so So forth. This one, in my opinion, has patina just for the right amount, and you have this Vintage, it is a vintage watch, but with some of the modern cool stuff about it, right? So you don't have quick set date, you have one position, but it happens. So you can get a super accurate read. Uh, for the 60s, this actually was pretty advanced. Uh, a lot of the watch brands did not have back ends by this time, so it's just really nice. And the actual setting of the time is so smooth. It really is something nice. These watches. For the price point, right? You know, you can compare these watches to, honestly, the quality of Rolex and the Nex, which is, you can see it instantly as well, that switches over. As you can see, that date window also is green. Going back there, uh, with that switch over. So just something really, really, really nice. And it's in the hands. It's just everything about this watch is designed, in my opinion, perfectly. The only downside, right, that anybody can say about this watch, nothing got to do with the materials, right, the stainless steel is perfect, everything. It actually has its original crown, too. But when you throw it on the wrist, it's not 40 mil, right, uh, or even 38. It's around 35, 36 ish millimeters on these Zodiac uh, Seawolves. So that's the only reason that these watches are not, in my opinion, $10,000 for real. I mean, these watches. When you compare this to Blanc Pan, to Submariner, they're right up there. I, I just, I don't see how it doesn't get as much love, but for the smaller wristed guys, you know, it is something, look at that, it's just nice. It's just, even on my wrist, it's not, you know, it's not tiny at all. I can definitely you know, tell the time at a glance and uh, really, uh, really see it, right? It's something it's incredible uh, how this piece is doing so well after all this wear and love everything. As I said, you know, it's perfect. I assume in service multiple times right, since it's birth. I actually got it checked out. There was something with the paper that I think was with an original movement. So there was a donor movement used in the same time. So you can make this watch perfect for the next one. So if you're curious about this watch or any other video, Check out watchkingofficial.com. You see it pop up on the screen, and then you can 